Namaskar. I salute India and I pray for the Indian people during these trying times of a raging pandemic. 124 years ago, one of India's most renowned sons, my father Netaji Subhash Chandra Bose, was born in Katak. And the Indian national government and the state governments have decided to honor him during this oncoming 125th year uh, after his birth. Thank you very much for this decision. Netaji was a man of thought and also of action. And he envisaged for his country a country which would be modern, enlightened, and at, uh, at the same time deeply rooted in her history, in her philosophy and her religious traditions. And he foresaw that there would be many challenges to be faced after attaining independence. Of course, he had hoped to be a part of those people who would face them, but unfortunately that was not to be. But all of us be normal people, even if we cannot contribute as great uh, things as the freedom fighters of those days did, can make our small contributions uh, to the well-being of India, of the Indian citizens and the citizens of the world. Netaji was a very devout man. He was a devout Hindu, but a Hindu very tolerant towards all other religions. And he inspired his followers, the members of the INA, and his friends and his family in these sentiments uh, to respect other religions and yet be very religious himself. Netaji's dominant emotion was his great love for his country and that superseded everything else. His loyalty towards his friends and towards his family, the concern for his own safety and he risked his life for India's freedom. We all can hope to contribute something to our fellow men and women. And I hope that we can all take an inspiration from Netaji's ideas and ideals. 